Hello, beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do the daily reading for today. It is August the 18th. Is it? I think so. Yes, it's Wednesday, August the 18th. This is going to be for today or whenever you guys hear this message. This is a general reading. It is a collective reading, so it's for all the zodiac signs. Please do only take what resonates with you, my loves. Send you guys lots of love, light, healing, energy, and hell of abundance. XOXO. So let's hop in, fire family. Let's see what's going on with you all in the collective. We are going to start out with a spirit message, and then we'll hop into the reading. All right, let's see what's going on. See what's going on with you guys? Spirit of universe. Messages for the collective for today, August the 18th. All right, let's see. Messages for the collective for today. Spirit, what message do you have for the collective? Let's see, guys. Let it be a good message. All right, let's see, guys. We have renewal, loving it, loving it, loving it, all right? So you guys could be going through some type of renewal, um, transformation, transition, some type of change, new beginning, so that is good. So it says rest, switch off the mind. So some of you guys just need to take a break. Maybe you guys are just overthinking things. Um, maybe you just have a lot on your mind, all right? So it's telling you to like, you know, kind of rest and take a break from whatever is on your mind or whatever is stressing you or bothering you. Um, currently, this is a short holiday would do you a world of good at this time. So it doesn't have to be a holiday. It could be your birthday. We are on meal season. Hey, but um, this can just be like maybe like a weekend getaway. Maybe like just going somewhere like to yourself. Like what do you can like what do you do that makes you like happy? Whether it's like going to the beach, maybe getting a room, you know, maybe getting away, taking an hour drive. Like it's just like you just kind of like escaping and getting away. All right. And that is like your short holiday. And it would be, you know, a situation where it's just you so that, you know, you can focus on yourself, meditate, cleanse your energy, clear your mind, etc. So it says a change of scenery results in renewed clarity and sense of purpose. So it needs to be somewhere that is not, you know, I wouldn't say local, but like within your like around you. So like if you're going five or ten minutes up the street, it's like that's still like within your same energy. OK, so you need to be at a distance, at least 30 minutes away. You know, so maybe just take, like I said, like a short trip, get a room, go to the beach, um, maybe drive to the park, take a long walk, you know, run, jog, whatever. But it's just saying like you guys need to, um, you know, switch off the mind, like just rest your mind. And for some of you guys just need to actually really like rest. Maybe you need to go somewhere and just like rest, turn off your notifications, ignore everybody, just really focus on you. All right, let's pull one more message and then we'll hop into the reading. So we have, let's see. Flame of love. Let's see what this is about. It says, allow the infinite power of love within you to radiate unconditionally in all directions. Yet stand tall in your sense of self, in your own truth. The healing power of love will help you burn through all illusion and you will discover new possibilities. This is a powerful time of transformation, ideas, and creativity. So this is good, guys. I'm loving it. So you guys are radiating unconditional um, love in all directions of your life, all right? So this is good. This is like, um, so like if you're starting your career, everyone's going to like love you. There's going to be a lot of love, a lot of creativity, a lot of passion within your career. If this is your business, people are going to love you, your ideas. There's going to be a lot of creativity, a lot of passion, excitement. If love is coming into your life, again, it's going to be different, very creative, passionate. Your person is going to be like very creative, different. All of that okay so the healing power of love is gonna help you guys burn through illusion meaning that a lot of you guys are either in an illusion when it comes to somebody and the universe is like bringing somebody new you know and maybe everything you always wanted is gonna be in this new person and the other person it just could have been in your mind or you know some type of illusion or sometimes illusions can be that you know when we think negative all right, like when we just put something in our mind because we're creating an illusion because we don't really know how it's going to like how it's going to like we don't know the results. We don't know the ending. We don't know how it's going to come, like where it's coming from, like, you know, stuff like that. So you can be putting yourself in some type of illusion. But with this healing power of love, it's it's burning through all that. All right. And it's going to help you see like people differently attract new love. You're going to come into new possibilities. It's going to be a very powerful time for you guys. All right. So definitely. 
um, be open to receiving this energy, okay? And it says flame of love, all right? So love it. So let's hop into the reading now, guys. Let's see what's going on with y'all in the collective. I want to stick with the same um, spread, but I am going to change it up just a little bit. Um, so I'm going to look into the recent past, and I'm going to look into their current feelings. I'm going to see what their current actions are, and then we're going to look into the present energy, all right? So let's see. What's going on with the collective for today, August 18th? I want to you guys hear this reading. All right, let's see. Spirit Universe messages for the collective. All signs for today, August 18th. I want to you guys hear this message. Messages for the collective for today, August 18th. I want to you guys hear this message. Let's see. All right. All right, guys, let's look into the recent past really quick. Recent past energy for the collective. So we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. We have the Six of Swords. Uh -oh. And we have the Ace of Cups. All right. All right. So with the Hermit, the Six of Swords, and the Ace of Cups, recent past. So we have Virgo energy here with the Hermit. But what I'm also getting is somebody is realizing that there is a lot of love between you guys or that there's true love between you guys or like someone is like looking for or searching for like love or like true love. All right. With the hermit. The hermit is someone going within, soul searching, getting enlightenment. The six of swords, if this is somebody, somebody that you were already with or like currently dating or in a relationship with, you guys just got out of the five of swords. So maybe there was a lot of tension, a lot of conflict, arguments, disagreements. There could have been some drama. Um, doesn't have to be. But when I see the six of swords... Here in between the Hermit and the Ace of Cups, it's like you guys are overcoming like problems or issues or conflict in your relationship. The Six of Swords is like, okay, can the past be in the past? We're moving towards calmer water. We're more at peace. We're releasing the baggage. You know, whatever happened between us in the past, let's leave it in the past. Let's go towards new love. I want new love with you. Um, let's like start over. All right, with this Ace of Cups, you know, are like they're finally like opening up, expressing themselves, like really telling you how they feel. This can also be new love that has come into your life and you feel like you are going towards a relationship or a person that is like a lot better for you. It's more peaceful. You feel like um, there's love there. Maybe the feelings could be mutual. Maybe you do see them as your true love. You see a future with them. Ace of Cups, you can see pregnancy with this person. Meaning like you can see yourself being pregnant by them or, you know, having a child with them. You know, or something like that. Or there's just a lot of love here. And the hermit could be you. And maybe you were soul searching and maybe you feel like you have met the one. All right, and you feel like this is, you know, it's time for you to like move forward and, you know, go towards new love with somebody because, like I said again, the hermit is looking for and seeking true love in this situation, or somebody, or somebody went within and realizes like how much they love you, or that's how you are feeling. Like you're, you went within and you're just like, dang, I really love this person because I'm also getting like here, like with the hermit, like somebody was searching for love or searching for someone, but they've already found that in you, or you are that person. But maybe they needed to, like, distance themselves and really, like, reflect on that or really see that, you know, or maybe they took time from the relationship and they realize that now. So it can be a lot with the hermit. So let's definitely clarify and see why the hermit is here. to the hermit really quick let's see why is the hermit here go to the hermit really quick for the for like the recent past hermit energy why is the hermit here so we have the seven of wands all right so the seven of wands could be someone that was like um the seven of wands can be like somebody that made you feel as if they were like pushing you out their life rather than showing or expressing love to you but I also feel like with the hermit, this person did that to kind of protect and guard their them, themselves, like their feelings, their emotions, their heart. This could have been you guys. Remember, it could be interchangeable. So it's like, I do feel as if the hermit made this situation or like whoever this is, despite their sign. I feel like they did make the situation a little challenging between you guys or like this person was like this very like guarded and was not letting you in. And you felt like you were being like pushed away or like you felt like this person was like shutting you out more than like letting you into their life and being in their life. So let's see why the seven of wands is here with the, um, why the seven of wands here with the hermit? Why the seven of wands here with the hermit? We have the fool. 
Yeah, so this is somebody that is finally ready now, okay, with the fool. So I do feel like this person was pushing you out, you know, or just like guarded, not letting you in. It was very challenging because the Seven of Wands could be someone that's like challenging. It's like you like them, you love them, but you're like, why do you always have to make things difficult? Why do you always have to be so challenging? Like, why can't we just get along, be in love, you know, stuff like that. But with the fool, it's like they're open to this new beginning. They're open to like this new love with you, this new beginning and opening up and expressing themselves. So this is what happened in the recent past. At the bottom, we do have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So I feel like this person is no longer in like karmic mode or overthinking the situation. Eight of Swords in reverse is someone, someone that is no longer feeling mentally restricted or whatever was bothering them or whatever was on their mind, it is no longer on their mind. So whatever was, you know, bothering them or whatever they were thinking about is no longer on their mind and they are you know kind of ready to take the leap of faith and move forward with you with the eight of swords and the knight of cups is at the bottom so it's telling me like now they're coming towards you guys and approaching you um and finally like wanting this relationship or you know wanting to start new with you or just you know clean slate new beginning all right um let's pull from the um keeper deck and see um what was going on with the hermit here the energy of the hermit messages for the collector why is the hermit here this for the hermit while I'm here. So we have main male. Yeah, so now they want to be the main male in your life. They want to be the main person in your life. Okay? This hermit. Well, whatever sign it is. But it's just the hermit there. That's why I keep saying the hermit. All right, so I'm looking into their energy. So they want to be the main male. They want to be the main person in your life. And then we have number nine, change. So a lot of things are changing or a lot of things have changed or a lot of things are changing between you and this person. Okay? Um, or they were going through a lot of changes. I also fight this person could have been, you know, focused on their finances because we have change and then we have wealthy men. So maybe that's what they were dealing with. Someone could have had like a lot of car issues or were dealing with some something that was like just very expensive. It could have been like moving, getting their priorities together, you know, stuff like that. And they see you as a mature woman. So I fight this person's focus was also on, you know, becoming wealthy, not saying that they're trying to become rich, you know, but I feel like they were just trying to be in a better place financially for some of you guys. All right, because we have change and then we have wealthy man and we have mature woman and then we have concern. And I fight that's what they were concerned about because we have privileged ladies. So privileged lady is telling me like you're kind of showing up as like the nine of pentacles, you know, like stable, having it together. You know, you're you're solid like you have you, you got everything you need. I'm not going to say everything, but it's like you're good. So I fight this person was just kind of concerned that you're coming up as this privileged lady and very mature Yeah, so I feel like their focus was just like being like, maybe they're trying to show up as a better man or wanting to be a better man because they want to be the main male in your life, all right? So whoever this is, they want to be, you know, like they, the main male is like, okay, they want to be serious now. They want marriage. They want commitment or something like that, all right? This is the recent past. So let's go into the Ace of Cups really quick and then we're going to move forward and look into the, um, I'm going to pull a couple more oracles and then we're going to look into... Their current feelings. All right, so let's see. Why is the main male here? Why is the main? I mean, not the main male. Sorry. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups? Why is the Ace of Cups here? We have the Five of Cups in reverse. Okay. So with the Five of Cups in reverse, this is somebody that is like ready to move forward. They're ready to heal, or this is somebody that is, I wouldn't say ready to heal, because it's the Five of Cups in reverse. So they were healing. Okay. Um. Somebody was, you know, like holding on to like some type of emotional baggage. All right. So it could have been prior to you. It could have been like just in the relationship. I don't know what happened between you guys, but five of cups and reverse is like, okay, let's move forward. Or this is somebody that's finally ready to like move forward. Um, you know, they're letting go of something that happened or they're hoping that you're going to, you know, let go of something that happened between you guys and you're going to like, you know, no longer, you know, be in regret or, you know, like just kind of let them back in. But for others of you, there, I honestly feel like looking at this, if this is not the relationship between you guys, then they were still healing from a previous relationship or situation. And they brought that energy into the relationship. And they needed to move forward from that. And they needed to let the past go so that they can be open to this new love with you or open to the relationship. But like holding completely. And not just showing up halfway. Because the word, like no one wants to be half loved. 
And I thought this person was showing you love and giving you love and doing things, but it wasn't like they're all. All right. So to see the five of cups in reverse with the ace of cups, that is somebody that is ready to move forward and actually like open up to you and actually really like show you like they're I feel like they're just ready to open up and express and like just give you all that love. Like they're they're, they're just ready. Like it's just and there was tears and everything involved. Like whoever this is, they were very emotional. It's like when I see this cup, it's like this a whole bunch. It's like somebody pouring out their heart or like just finally like this saying everything you want to hear, but I feel like it's pure and genuine. Okay, so well, we're going to see because we know how energy switches up. But with the Five of Cups in reverse, let's see. Why is the Five of Cups in reverse? Why is the Five of Cups in reverse? Why is the Five of Cups in reverse? The Four of Cups. Yeah, see, they were sitting in their feelings. This is somebody that was just like stuck in an emotional rut, dealing with emotional, you know, like not releasing emotional baggage. There's the offer that the universe was bringing them, but they were ignoring it. Um, kind of pushing it to the side that would have been you you would have been a new love the love that they were waiting for asking for manifesting you know crying about wanting in their life but i just feel like they weren't ready i feel like you guys could have met this person at a time where they just were not ready emotionally that like they wanted love but they weren't ready to open their hearts there's a difference somebody can want love or want to be loved but sometimes it's hard for people to open their heart you know or just like just be open to someone. I know it's, I know it sounds weird, but I have like, you know, like when I coach you guys or like, when you guys share your stories with me or just, you know, just from things that I've seen or experienced or like with friends and stuff, it's just like somebody can like love you or tell you they love you, but then still not like fully be open to you or open their heart to you. So there is a difference. When somebody's heart is open to you and they love you, then that means that they, like they're, it's, it's the, that's the unconditional love. Because, like, when they love you and their heart is not fully open to you, that's loving someone with conditions. That's conditional love. So there's a difference between conditional love and unconditional love. All right? So this person just wasn't ready to, like, fully open up to you at that time. And now they feel like they are ready. And with the paid the pentacles in reverse, if they didn't, like, paid the pentacles in reverse is somebody that, like, a woman, if they want the relationship and then they don't, you know, they could have, like, you know, kind of messed around on you and kind of made mistakes because they weren't thinking. They weren't thinking practically. Um, like I said, one minute they're like, okay, let's let's do this. Then they're like, not, you know, because um, they, I just feel like they just weren't sure. They just weren't, they weren't, they weren't all the way ready. They weren't. And I also feel like with this Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Reverse, Oh, yeah, because, look, they, there was an ex or somebody or someone that they were healing over. But um, when I see this Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the energy here, I don't think this person was expecting to, like, actually grow and have feelings for you guys. I don't. I think they just wanted to kind of, like, be with somebody or they eventually wanted to, like, you know, be in love again. But at that time, I don't feel like that was in their intentions. But they grew feelings for you, and now they have felt, now they have feelings and love for you. So the situation, everything has changed now. Okay, so let's pull an oracle really quick and see what we got. Messages for the, what is? Give me some energy on this. Some messages for this situation. So we have you look even more beautiful than I remember. So for some of you guys, maybe you haven't seen them in a while, all right? Or you guys could have, like, you know, took a break from each other. Or maybe you guys were talking every day but just haven't seen each other, okay? So to them, their message is, like, they when they see you or, you know, when you guys see each other, they're on my like, damn, like, you look even more beautiful than, you know, before, than they remember. At the bottom, I deny my feelings for you, all right? So I feel like that's also what happened. They could have been acting as if, like, they didn't have these feelings, but I thought like you knew it was there. But remember, we can't force anyone to open up to us or force anyone to open our heart to us. It has, if it's not, if it's not, not like, if it doesn't come out, um, I didn't mean to say natural. If it doesn't come out organically, then it's like, I don't want it. Well, I'm speaking for myself. But, like, that's how I feel. Everyone's different. I feel like if somebody doesn't, like, tell you something and it doesn't come out, like, organically, like, you know, like, just... If it doesn't just come out, then it's like, I feel like it's being forced. So when somebody is ready to tell you they love you, they're going to tell you. If somebody wants to tell you how they feel, they're going to tell you. 
you shouldn't have to sit there and be like, oh, tell me how you feel. Do you love me? Do you want me? Like, it's going to come out. You know, or they're going to tell you that. You, it shouldn't be forced. You know, because then I feel like at that point, like, they might just be saying anything. When people are under pressure or feel forced, I feel like they, they say things sometimes they really don't mean. Because they want you to feel happy. They want to please you at that time. They want to, like, get over the topic or the, the subject or whatever you're asking them. So they're going to they're gonna give you a quick answer. Like, oh, yeah, I love you. Yeah, I want to marry you. Yeah, I want to be with you. But in their mind, I feel like that's not what they really want. Because they're under pressure. Okay? So are, there, are they feel like you're trying to force them? So let's see. And that's why I feel like they were in denial. Not saying all you guys did that, but I'm just saying. So let's get one more message and then we're going to move forward. We have, I'm struggling and working to change this. So, yeah, they are. And for some of you guys, they regret playing games with your heart. And I feel like that's what they did. Because like I told you, what I'm seeing is like there's love now. There's a lot of love and a lot of feelings now. But I feel like going into this situation, I don't feel like they were, they, I don't feel like they were trying to like fall in love or be in love or like uh, attach or have feelings for you or anybody. And it just happened. Okay? I feel like it just happened. So now it has changed everything. All right? So let's go into their current feelings. We have the Four of Wands, we have the Hangman in Reverse, and we have the Magician. So, yeah, a lot of things have changed with this person in this situation. So, now it's like with the Four of Wands, they're thinking more long-term. They're wanting something stable. They're wanting something... Um, oh, but they don't know if you feel the same now, because even though the Four of Wands is in the upright, look, there's no one in the picture. You know how the Four of Wands usually has a couple here, but there's no one there because they don't know how you feel. Or they don't know if this is what you want. But in their feelings towards you, they want to, like, come into union. They want to get married. Or this is someone that's thinking about marriage. Maybe even, you know, um, wanting to, like, move in. Or you move into their house. Or you guys, you know, look for homes. Or, you know, stuff like that. We have the magician. They've been doing a lot of manifesting. In their current feelings towards you, the hangman in reverse. That's good. That's someone that has surrendered. That's someone that has gained enlightenment. Someone that has finally let go of whatever was stopping or blocking or um coming in between the relationship or keeping the relationship stagnant with the hangman in reverse could be a pisces we have virgo and gemini energy as well all right so let's see why the hangman is coming up in reverse in their current feelings why is the hangman in reverse in their current feelings We have the nine of swords reverse. So whatever was stressing them out is no longer stressing them out. They have finally like let go of the past. They're finally releasing the past so that they can, you know, focus on, you know, better things, other things with the nine of swords in reverse. So that's good. Um, let's see. One more message wise. The nine of swords in reverse. We have the two of wands. Yep. That's good. So things have definitely changed. They have made a decision now um, with the two of wands. This is also telling me like they know how they know how they want to move forward with the two of wands. They're taking a different approach, approaching the situation differently now. Someone has plans or they have something on their mind that they want to tell you. Because the way that the guy is holding the, the wand on the two of wands with the globe in his hand, this is somebody that has been doing some thinking. They, you know, have made some changes. They're ready to make changes. They know what they want, how they want to move forward now. But this is somebody like really looking into the future. Like it's like wherever they're at, they're like, they're like really focused. So let's go into the four of wands. Let's see what this is about. Why are the four of wands here? Why are the four of wands here? We have the page of swords. So you guys have communication coming in from this person. It could be a Gemini. We have with the high priestess here. Pisces energy again. I feel like you guys know this person is about to open up or communicate. I feel like, and your intuition is telling you, like, you're about to finally get, like, answers to your questions or you are, like, just feeling like, okay, yeah, they're about to reach out. They're about to say something. It's like you can feel that the communication is coming in. You can feel that they're about to say something to, something to you, approach you, reach out. Um, you, I don't know. I just feel like you guys know. All right, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands, we have the other one. Ace of Cups. Yeah, so. The interesting thing is that when I've seen the cards at the bottom of the deck, this is the Ace of Pentacles, this is the Ten of Wands reverse, it's the Devil, it's the Ace of Cups, it's the Two of Cups. 
And what's interesting to me about this is that with the Ace of Pentacles, now they see commitment as something long term with you guys. All right. And I feel like that's how you that's how you always felt before. But with the Ten of Wands reverse, they just I feel like they just kept saying no and they kept like letting the situation go because they didn't know if this was really lust or like love. Because there was some type of obsession here, okay, that they had for you. But in the past, I don't feel like it was like there I don't feel like there was any feelings attached. Somebody could be obsessed with somebody and not be in love with them. They could have been obsessed with like like the way you like have sex with them or they could have been obsessed with like your looks or anything, okay? Obsession goes a long way. Or this is somebody that was just like just wanting just to have sex or just wanting to like fuck or whatever and was not, like I said, not trying to catch feelings, but they didn't know if, if this was like lust, good sex, you know, like if you were just like a bad habit and I'm not saying a bad habit in a bad way. I'm saying like, you know, because like, Maybe you gave them something that they never had before, you know, or like you put it on them. I don't know. But they, that's what they questioned. Because remember, the hermit is going within. The hermit is doing a lot of thinking, soul searching, reflecting. So they're thinking about all that. So I, this person wanted to know, like, was this lust or was this love? Was there really a connection? Am I really feeling what I'm feeling with this person? That's what I'm getting here. So I feel like that was just also like in like how in their this is showing up in their feelings towards you. And now that they see that this is love and it's not lust and then there actually is a connection, now they're trying to like manifest it. Or they want to manifest it. But keep in mind, guys, this can be somebody coming into your life. This is this could be somebody that you guys already know. Or this is your current situation. Alright, so let's just kind of pull a couple more cards on their feelings towards you. I'm gonna pull the romance angel as well. So we have bad health health what did i just say so when i see bad health i'm not looking at it like someone's sick somebody could have been sick all right um someone could have like recently you know like been down been sick kind of cold something like that or maybe someone does have health problems but the cards i just showed you when i said they were wondering if this was like lust that i really love what i'm getting here in their feelings like they didn't know if this situation was gonna be good or bad for them because I'm telling you, like they were going, like they were holding on to some type of emotional baggage. They were dealing with something that was heavy. And look, we have the main female. They want you to be their main female. Here's the main male. Here's the main female. But they were dealing with a false person before you. Or this person was trying to figure out if you were false or not. Like if you really fucked with them or not. Because remember, the hermit is going to, like the hermit, if somebody is seeking and wanting true love or really wants to be in love, they, they're they going to question your motives, believe it or not, or you are. Because if you're seeking for, like, say if you're looking for a husband or you know what you're looking for, you're going to, like, you're going to observe and, like, be, like, really, like, into what they're doing, what they're seeing, all of that. So I also thought this person wanted to know if you were a false person or not. Like, if you were, like, going to just be fake, if it was about sex to you two, or what was it? Like, are you feeling what I'm feeling? Okay. But for others of you, they were with a false person before you. But now they see that you're not that type or it's not like that. And they want you to be their main male. I mean, they want to be the main male because you have the main female. Let's go into the bad health card. Why is bad health here? Why is bad health here? See, look, six of cups. Told you. I knew it. They didn't know if this was a good thing or a bad thing. That's how the bad health is there. And because they had emotional baggage or issues or problems from another relationship or they had went through something, they didn't want to go through that again. So they, they, they felt the connection for sure. They definitely felt the soulmate connection. But they're like, I'm not trying to be lovesick. I'm not trying to go through this shit again. I'm not trying to like fall in love and it be no bullshit or whatever. So I feel like that's why they pushed you guys out, pushed you guys away. Because I, for some reason, I'm just seeing the bad health card as. In this case and how it came out, like. They just, I feel like they're just like, damn, like, is this, is this situation to be good or bad for me? Like, is. What I said before, I'm not going to repeat myself. Y'all know what I said before. So that's how I thought they looked at it. All right, so let's pull a romance angel on their feelings towards you guys. Right, let's 
Pisces for the universe. We do have finances and career that popped out. I'm going to put it back in. But remember I told you when I see wealthy men and some, I forgot the other card. I told you that they were also focusing on their career, their finances, their money. Um, so let's see. How does this person feel towards the collective at this time? Give me one more message. How does this person feel towards the collective at this time? Oh, wow. So they have freed themselves. All right. They are taking back control of their life. But look, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So they see that it is safe for them to love you. They see that now. So, of course, they're in regret now. Now they probably really do regret, you know, like playing games with your, playing games with your heart. Because they didn't know. They weren't sure. And then we have, yep, see, look, I'm required to love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And I don't feel like there was um, a lack of chemistry. I don't feel like there was an attraction here. I feel like this person was like, man, I ain't got time for this, so fake-ass love. Okay? And maybe they didn't come off like that, so you guys didn't maybe feel like that. But they were just like, that's why I said whoever this was, they were like, man, is this like, is this lust? Is this love? Are we just fucking like, what is this? But they were also going through something. Or you guys are going through something previously. Okay? So it could be that you guys are going through something previously. Maybe you didn't want them. Maybe you pushed them out. All right? Maybe they pushed you out. They weren't sure. I don't know. But someone needed to figure out their feelings. So let's clarify the unrequited love card. Because now it's like it goes from unrequited love to it's, it's safe for you to love. So now they, they're seeing that it's not unrequited. It's not fake. It's not lust. That there's actually love there. See, we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This person is seeing and realizing that, yeah, they do deserve love. They know you want, you know, love as well. You want to be with them. So let's see why. Um, let's see why unrequited love is here. Going to the unrequited love card for the collective. And this person's current feelings. Why is I'm ready to love here? Why is I'm ready to love here? See the Queen of Wands Rangers. So they thought you guys were messing around with other people, dealing with other people. See the moon. They were suspicious of you guys the whole time. Interesting. So maybe you guys were in this situation. There was no title behind it. Maybe you guys were just doing your thing. This, like I said, talking, fucking, whatever you guys are doing. But to see the queen of wands come up in reverse with unrequited love in the moon. And then look, this is the person, king of pentacles, trying to commit or wanting to commit or make this offer to you, king of pentacles. And we have the chariot. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to move forward. But um, when I see the queen of wands reverse in the moon, they were suspicious. They were trying to figure you guys out. And they could have thought that you guys had other partners or messing around with other people. They feel like you had secrets. Okay, Queen of Wands in reverse with the moon. Maybe they saw you texting somebody or maybe, you know, they did find out you were talking to somebody or maybe you told them that you were talking to other people. But the Queen of Wands in, the, in reverse with the moon. Um, I feel like in this case with the unrequited love, you could have kind of like switched up on them. Like, you were all into them, and then you, like, kind of took your focus off of them. And it just, it became unpredictable. Like, you became unpredictable. All right? But to see the Queen of Wands in reverse with the moons, y'all were keeping some type of secret or keeping something hidden. Or that's what they felt or suspected. They did. Because these two cards is, like, somebody cheating, lying, being sneaky, texting, doing something. Like, they found something out. Or they feel like there's something going on. They do. But now they feel like it's safe for them to love you. But they they feel like there's some they feel like there's more to this. Like there's they feel like you had something going on or you have something going on or you did with this energy here with the Queen of Wands reverse and the moon. Because this would be them feeling like you are keeping things hidden. Like you're not telling them something. Like you did something or you messed around or you did something. You know? Um why is the Queen of Wands reverse with the moon? Why is the Queen of Wands reverse with the moon? Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse with the moon? Ace of Swords. That's what they're trying to gain clarity on. Nine of Wands. They also see you as, like, very difficult at times. All right? Because the Nine of Wands can be somebody that is, like, they kind of make things difficult. It's hard to communicate, you know. So they could have seen you as, like, you know, kind of difficult. But then they were pushing you out to... They feel like you could have also made this situation challenging. But if they weren't being honest with whatever they had going on, then 
they can't really fault you for that. But they are they're trying to gain clarity on whatever whatever they suspect you guys were doing. Let's let's clarify the Queen of Wands reverse with this deck. The Tower. Uh oh. And the Four of Swords. Yeah, for some of you guys, they feel like you cut them off and start fucking somebody else or dealing with somebody else. Four of Swords is like like brushing them to the side, putting them to the side. The Tower is like sexual energy. You know, or the Queen of Wands reverse, that could have been you. Like, you just went off one day. Like, just went the fuck off. Like, look, like, you're not telling me how you feel. You're not telling me that you care. You don't want to be with, be with me. That's fine. I'll fuck somebody else. I'll be with somebody else. It's over. It's done. I don't need you. I don't want to be with you. Like, you know, like, I'm done with you. Like, you could have just let them have it. You could have had a tower moment. Like, you could have just flipped, you know. But, and, but to them, they feel like it all happened for a reason. They feel like, okay, you're arguing with me for no reason. It's just like out the blue or whatever. So they just suspect or felt like you had something going on or that's what they that's what they did suspect or feel. But despite if you did or not, that doesn't matter because they still want to come back and be with you or they, they see that it's safe for them to love you. They've made a decision. So, But if, then if they were playing games with your heart, then it's like they can't really say shit because they were playing games. So who the fuck wants to deal with that? All right, let's look into their current actions towards you guys. So we have the Ten of Cups coming up. King of Cups reverse in the strength card. See, this person was emotionally unavailable. See, with the um, King of Cups reverse. Oh, I don't want my thing no more. Sorry, guys. I'm to put my cord up. Sorry. All right, so they, um, this person was coming off as emotionally unavailable. All right, we have the King of Cups reverse. All right, somebody that was like kind of depressed, moody, uh, one minute in love, one minute acting like they didn't want this or whatever. All right, um... I'm not seeing this person as like previously married. They could have been married, or you guys could have been dealing with somebody that was married with the King of Cups in reverse. And maybe that's what they were they were going through some type of divorce or separation or ending. And that's why, you know, and that could have been why you flipped on them. Like, look, I'm not about to keep fucking you. You're married. And like, you know, I don't want to be in this situation. That could have also been it too. But this is in their current action. So let's see. Why is the King of Cups in reverse? Because this if this is in their current actions, that means that this person is coming up as like, you know, emotionally unavailable, detached. Let's see. Why is the King of Cups in reverse? The Death card. Oh, that's coming to an ending. Okay, so Scorpio energy. So if they were, you know, emotionally unavailable, if they were detached, if they were married, if they were creeping, like all that, whatever, whatever they were doing before, it's coming to an ending. So they put that to an ending. So in their current in their current actions, they're not doing doing that anymore with the Death card. See, look, oh wow, look, the Emperor stepping their game up, stepping into their power, stepping their game up. So, wow. So whoever this is, like they're like they're on some real shit now. Like they're like, you know what? Like I'm not gonna be emotionally unavailable. I'm not gonna be detached anymore. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna be moody about you. I'm not gonna tell you I want to be with you the next minute. I don't. I really do want to be with you. I want something serious with you. Is the emperor? The strength card is them having the courage and the confidence to tell you could be a Leo as well. All right. Um, but this person had to overcome like self doubt, fear, whatever was holding them back from you guys being together. Yeah, we have the chariot. Now they're ready to make moves. The chariot. When the chariot pops up, that means that's that that's somebody that is actually wanting to take action and be serious. Like they actually wanna they wanna move forward and like right now. So they might message you today and, and like ne they're like, I wanna get this moving. Like next month, let's do it. Let, like, you know, like let's be serious. Let's do this, let's do that, whatever it may be. But the chariot is like ready to like take action, move forward. All right. So let's see why the chariot is here with the strength card. And they're coming towards you guys fast because the chariot is up, the horses are moving. Let's see. Three of Pentacles in reverse. And we have it with the three of wands reverse. Yep, see somebody that somebody that didn't really want the relationship or the commitment in the past now wants to move forward with you. The person that wouldn't compromise in the relationship with you now wants to compromise and move forward with you. Um, the person that had you in a third party relationship is now out of a third party situation and wants to move forward with you. Three of pentacles in reverse. So, so if the relationship just didn't work out, if they just were unsure about commitment, whatever it is, with the chariot and the three of wands. They want that now on the strength card. So it's like they now they want that. Now that's what they want. That was blocking you guys. The Ten of Cups is here. So this person also sees and realizes that they were their most happiest when they were with you. Ten of Cups. But this is in their actions. And that's what this is what they want. So this is what they're about to go after. This is what they're about to do. I mean, like this is like this is where they're at right now. So in their current energy, this would be them coming towards you, approaching you, seeing all this to you. Um, but most importantly, like take an action because the emperor is not going to tell you something and not back it up with action. They're not going to talk your fucking head off, have you on the phone for an hour and then not do anything. 
that's not the emperor. And most times, the emperor is just going to take action. But it looks as if they have to communicate or you guys need to communicate first. Because for some of you guys, you haven't talked to them. Or you guys talk, but not really. All right. So let's look into the present energy, which is now because this is in their current actions. All right. So we have the four of cups. We have justice and we have the ten of swords. So in the present energy, they want to make things right. They want to be honest with you and make things right. They, they're they hoping that you guys aren't going to reject them with the four of cups. The ten of swords is like the worst being behind them. Or they're hoping that you guys can put this behind you guys and like move forward from this. You know, there could have been some deceit or deception involved in this situation with the Ten of Swords. But whatever was coming in between you guys, whatever called, like whatever, you know, um, whatever came in between you guys, separate you guys or whatever, it's like they're trying to like, they're trying to make things right. So let's see why the Ten of Swords is here. Yeah, see, look, to go from the Ten of Swords to the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups will pop up twice. So, yeah, they, they want the worst to be, like, they feel like the worst is not behind you guys. They feel like they're not ready. Okay, um, and for some of you guys, they want this more than anything. See the five of pentacles, and then we have it with the lovers. When you guys stopped talking, when you guys broke up, when you got separated, they were like broken inside. And they see our view as our empress because we have the lovers and the five of pentacles. And they couldn't do nothing but think about you, fantasize about you. They're like, damn, like. Why did I end things? Why do we end things? Like, why do we go through this? Why are we going through this? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like with the five of pentacles, they definitely did struggle. I don't fight this person has moved on from you. I don't fight this person has went a day without thinking about you. Why well, is five of pentacles here? See the world card that, and we have with the nine of wands. See, they like, so both you guys were being, both you guys could have been kind of like pushing each other out are just like not taking action towards each other. Maybe one minute you were and they weren't, then one minute they were, you you didn't want it, you know? So, but yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. You guys felt like you guys couldn't, you know, come together and like actually build and have a relationship with the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Um, either they stop, you know, putting effort into it. And once you've seen that, you stop putting effort into it or both you guys stop putting effort into the relationship. So let's see how the Four of Cups is here because they feel as if you are going to reject them. But if you do and you don't want this with the justice card, they're just like, well, you know, like, it's like, that's my karma. I'm not saying that's what they're going to say, but it's like somebody that plays games with your heart and has put you through all this, they got to deal with the consequences. So let's see how the four, uh, four of cups is here. Go to the four of cups. Why is the four of cups here? Why is the four of cups here? See the shame card. Ooh. Hmm. The strength card is somebody that plays it cool, but kind of holds things back. Meaning that if they come around and want this, you may want it too. But a part of you is going to like reject them, but want this at the same time. Because you guys are... When they come back around, like to you guys, how you feel is like, no, I got to, I got to show my strength in this situation. I can't just let them come back and be like, oh yeah, I'm, I want this because you want it. So it's like with the strength card, it's like, I wouldn't say standing your ground, but it's like, you're coming off very strong. And I feel like the first time around, you will reject them. Or you will like low key reject them in a way. Because you're going to look at it like. Why do you want all of, all of this now? Like, why do you want to be with me now? Like, you rejected me in the past. You rejected how I felt. You rejected my feelings towards you, all of that. So, for some of you guys, maybe you didn't have the courage to say that in the past. Or maybe you like this person way too much. And the fact that you feel like you let them, you know, like, do the way they did. You feel like you got to, like, kind of show them, like, no, like, I'm, I'm stronger than this. I'm better than this. Like, you can't just, like, pop up and, like, okay, I want this, and I'm going to get back with you. But I see that you guys also want it. Mm, see, why is the shame card here? Why is the shame card here? Yeah, see, because we have a ten of swords. They really did hurt you. You were hurt in this situation. 
And the reason why you were hurting is because you felt like you were the one putting in all the work. You felt like you were the only one, like, you know, like, putting into this relationship or commitment. Or maybe you felt like you were the only person that seen commitment with them. But you got to keep in mind, remember, this person didn't know if this, if this was love or lust or if this was real or not. Like, they just thought this was just, like, you know, a little situation that wasn't going to be serious. But let's see. Two of Swords. And we have the Seven of Swords reverse. So the Seven of Swords reverse is them, like, you know, coming clean and, you know, telling you what was going on. Everything is coming out. Everything is, like, whatever you thought was hidden or whatever you were blindfolded to. Or whatever you didn't know, they're going to be open and open about it with the seven of swords reverse. I feel like your thing is like, okay, like you already lied and did this now. So like, are you going to do this again? Is this how you truly feel? Is this how you really feel? So a big part of you is going to reject them or wants to reject them. So either you are going to reject them or you want to reject them. But at the same time, you want to be with this person. So you're not, but this is how you feel inside. Or for others of you, it's like you are going to reject them at first. And they're going to keep trying and they're going to keep telling you more and keep confessing and keep opening up to you because they really want the relationship. Let me see. Pull on my card. Yeah, they're, and I don't see the, like some of you guys are holding back how you feel with the Page of Cups reverse as well. You may come off as like, I accept your apology, but whatever. And they may think that you're doing this because they, like, again, we have the Seven of Cups, Ace of Wands. They may think that you're sleeping with other people or dealing with other people. Now, what I will say, though, is that for some of you guys, my mom always used to tell me, Ash, don't don't ever be a weak bitch, okay? And when I seen the cards and like what came out, some of you guys feel like you were weak at some point. Like you felt like you were just like like you like you like you know like you're you come off as masculine strong or and not masculine in a way we're like this overly masculine, but like I'll say this. I'm going to say it like this. You're very genuine. You're very loving. You have a hope like you, um, you love, when you love, you love hard. You'll give your all in a relationship. You'll give a lot to people. But there has been a lot of situations where you feel like you have taken losses. And this person was a person that like just was it. And the reason why I brought up what my mom said is because, like, you've been in other relationships or been put in situations where you're like, do they, do they take me as a joke? Do, I, do they think I'm weak? Do they think I'm, like, dumb? Do I have, like, stupid on my forehead? You know what I'm saying? So when this person comes back around or whatever you were going through in this situation, you're like, you're, in your mind, you're like, I'm not no weak bitch. Like, I'm not about to be weak for no man. I'm not about to be weak for no girl. I'm like, I'm not about to do this. But a part of you also feels like with the shame card that you are coming off too strong and that it may actually really push them away and that's why with the two of swords here you're like i don't know what to do you're like you're like i really want to reject they ass so they know just how I felt, or so that they know, like, I'm not no weak ass bitch, like, they can't keep doing this to me, or that they're not gonna, they're, that they better not ever do this to me, but then a part of you is, like, very strong and very confident, and you know your self-worth and value, but with the strength card, sometimes you, sometimes you can come off way too strong, so the reason why I use that example with my mom is because, like, me and my mom used to always have this talk, and I love my mom to death, she was a cancer, and my mom used to all, like I told you guys, my mom used to always tell me, like, Ash, don't ever be no bitch for nobody. And my mom taught me how to be so strong. And I love my mom's confidence and I love my mom's strength. And I just love the woman that she was. But sometimes my mom can come off, like, too hard. 
And I used to tell her that sometimes. And, like, because that's my mom, you know, like, she was like, Ash, whatever, you know, like, I'd rather come off like this than to be weak or whatever. You know, I'm not going to ever let nobody, like, you know, you don't let nobody play you and, you know, stuff like that. And I got everything she was saying and where she was coming from. But I used to just always tell my mom, like, mom, like, sometimes you just cannot come off, like, too strong because sometimes you may really want something and you may push it away because you are coming off too strong. And I feel like if a person really knows you and loves you and sees you for who you are, they know your strength. They do. Do they test it sometimes? Hell yeah. Okay? Don't get me wrong, they do. So I'm only saying this to say, I don't agree with the dumb shit that they did. Okay? Playing with your heart, whatever they have going on. But if this is something that y'all really want and you actually see a future with this person and you feel like this is what you want, take some time and think about it. Do Reflect now. Go within now so that when they come back, you'll be ready and prepared. Because for some of you guys, I just see you guys coming off way too strong in this situation. And... If they are coming back, acting and doing right, it may actually really push them away because of how you're going to reject them. And it's because you're coming off way too strong in your rejection. Because there's one thing to reject somebody, but it's like, I don't know, I just, I just, that's what I'm just got it to tell you guys. You guys are coming off like, Somebody is coming off like way too strong in the situation. So they might just feel like, well, damn, like, why did I even try? You know? So, I don't know. That, could, that message could have just been for one person. All right? So, oh, shit, damn. All these messages. I'm not going to take all those. But um, you guys already know how I be feeling, okay? So y'all know how I feel in the reading. And if I feel like they ain't shit, I ain't, I'm going to tell y'all. But I'm not. In this reading, the vibe and the energy that I got is that it was more about there's love there. And yes, they weren't ready. I do get that. And that is bold to mess with somebody's feelings and play with their heart or play games or whatever. But the energy and the vibe that I got is that the person that is coming back and then see you as our main female and then being the main male in your life, like they just want to be with just you. And I don't, I don't really see their energy on like no, no bullshit. I don't see that. Not with the Ten of Cups coming out twice, marriage cards, all that. I feel like you guys met somebody and it just wasn't the right time. And that is bold as hell to talk to somebody and you think that something's going on or you think that they feel a certain type of way and they don't. But then I also feel like, you know, in the collective, just as humans, you know, like just in general, sometimes we can't help how we feel. And if you did catch feelings and you have feelings for this person and you told them and they like shut you out. They were wrong. It's fuck, you know, for doing that. And I thought they should have just been 100 and told you, like, look. This is how I'm feeling. This is what I'm feeling. This is how I feel about us in the situation. All right. But for, I don't know why guys, for some reason, like with this reading, I just feel like this is somebody that you're going to be with or that you're supposed to be with. Like, I don't know why I feel like that. Even after doing this, like after like, and the, like the reading wasn't like so bad, like how they like, you know, wasn't like very, very negative, but I don't know. I'm just getting that. I don't know. That's what I'm getting, guys. All right. 
So we have community. So maybe you guys met them like in your neighborhood or you guys don't live far from each other. You guys may know the same people. Um, you may see them while you're out. We have mature men. Okay, so they have matured or um, this person is coming back like mature. Five is all about change. Okay, we have child. You guys could, there can be a child involved. So you guys could be like pregnant by this person and maybe that's what you're going to tell them or you're telling them that when they come back. But if not, the child card and, and the uh, keeper deck could be about new beginnings, the birth of something new. So this is somebody that has matured, they have changed, and they want to come and birth and create something new with you. It's been one hell of a journey for them, maybe for you, for both of you guys. All right? Or they just want to, you know, start a new journey, be on a new journey, girl, on a new journey, new path. We have expectations. Yeah, I feel like they let you down because I feel like you guys did have expectations. You know, when it came to this person in this relationship and we have message. All right, so they're going to send you a message or reaching out to you. But now this person wants to court you, okay? So it's like now this person actually wants to court you, take you out, pick you up, take you on dates, do all of that type of stuff is what I'm getting. All right, so I'm going to get it here because it's almost on an hour. All right, guys, but this is recent past, current feelings, current actions, present energy. All right, I love you guys. Stay dope. If I resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com. Don't forget to check out the online shop. I think I have like 13 of the um, August boxes left. I have seven of the money boxes left. And then I just um, up uploaded my new bracelets. Damn, they're over there. I have two of them on. But um, definitely check them out. I put five new bracelets on the online shop. And I posted everything on the community tab. All right? I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'll see you guys in the next upload. Bye, Fire Fam.